Hi everybody, my name is Sean O'Kane with Chip Estimate TV. We're here at Arm Tech Con 2011 at Santa Clara Convention Center. My guest today is David Gilday, uh, Principal Engineer in the Processor Division with Arm. Uh, and of course we have uh, his associate Mike, which I'll have you introduce him in I'll just a second. So what they have done, and they'll demonstrate in just a moment, they have created this um, speed cuber. This is out of the um, Legos uh, Cube Stormer 2, right? right? And uh, I remember last year you had you were setting records and uh, uh, with with the, the calculation and that's um, right. Yes. So, so talk a little bit about how this works and what you had to do to program it within the iPhone. Okay, uh, it's a Galaxy a Galaxy Galaxy S2. Yes. Um, so yes, it's it's a robot that's built mechanically out of Lego. Mm -hmm. um, it uses Lego Mindstorms, mm -hmm. which is a sort of robotics controller. Uh, there's a, a Galaxy S2 smartphone, which is connected to the Lego by Bluetooth. Uh, the camera on the phone is used to take pictures of the cube, mm -hmm. uh, instructs the, the robot to actually turn the cube over so it can see all faces, works out a solution for the, the uh, cube, and then solves it. Right. Um, and it does that a lot faster than the machine last year. I'm not going to give any time. We'll try no, and no, demonstrate. No, 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 no. <laughs> but what, what is the ARM processor that is embedded here? Uh, so the, there's actually an ARM processor in the LEGO Mindstorms as well as the phone. It's an oh, ARM7 right. in the, the LEGO Mindstorms, but it's the Cortex-A9 dual core running at about 1.2 gigahertz in the smartphone. Yeah. And we make use of both the processors. The, the application itself is multi-threaded, so it can use both of the cores to their full extent. Now, I know when this went uh, viral on, on the web, on YouTube, it got, in less than a week, how many? In, in half a week it was, sorry, in a week it was about half a million. Half it's, a, it's just top 1.3 million, I think, in the last couple of weeks. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll jack that up. It would be really cool if you can help. So uh, introduce uh, Michael, and then what we'll go do a demo. Okay, um, well, Mike and I met on, on YouTube. This is Mike Dobson. Uh, we had both been building these robots independently. Uh, Sean mentioned the speed keeper that I built, demonstrated last year. Uh, Mike had de developed one called CubeStormer, uh, which was a little bit faster than the speed keeper. Uh, anyway, we, we were both thinking about building a faster one, so we were sort of competing against each other. And then at some point decided actually it would be much better if we teamed up and uh, worked on respective parts. So Mike's really good with the mechanics. He's did, done all the Lego on this one, and I've done the software. So we've been a great team. It's been good fun. Okay, let's, let's take, a, take a look at a demo. Okay. okay, well, here's a cube that I'll scramble just a little bit more, make sure it's uh, properly scrambled. And Mike, would you like to, uh, to do a quick demonstration? David, <laughs> that was amazing. So, current world record, 4.762 seconds, beating the human record, you know, from that uh, young chap in uh, Australia. Felix Zemdex, yes. That's right, who, uh, who had a, uh, uh, a record of 5.66, a human, putting that, and you said about 10? Or They're doing about nine or 10 moves 10 per moves second. Per second. second. And uh, um, your device here is well, about five or six. And you said a leisurely five yes. or six <laughs> moves. But thank you so much. Thanks for the opportunity indeed. to see a world record right here. Thanks, thank Michael. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you next time on Ship Estimate TV.